this video i want to just explain the storage settings of this dawa dvr so when you go to main menu and you come to storage there are a lot of settings here right you can see a lot of options here so the first option is basic in basic you can do three things first you can set what happens when your disk is full you can either set it to store stop recording or you set it to overwrite now when you set it to stop recording when the disk is full what happens it it stops to record right but when you set it to overwrite what happens is the old files automatically get deleted for the newer files to be created right so how do you want your video file to be created as the creates video file so you want it to be created based on the time length or based, based on the file size and do you want to delete expired files never or okay after five days you said it's custom and say after five days i want to delete the old files so um if you're doing this i don't think there's anything to even to overwrite you can just say stop recording when it's filled it won't get filled because after every five days it deletes the file right so i i think the best option is to set this to never and this to overwrite but you have to make your own choice what best best suits you right so i want to come to schedule and in this option um you can set two things you can set your record schedule and your snapshot schedule now let's go to record schedule you can select the channel you want to set the schedule for you can say all channel you can say just channel one right and here you have the days of the week so how do you want to set your schedule do you want to set your schedule to record everything which is general or you want to set it to record only motion or you want to set it to record alarm right so if you say general it records everything if you said motion it only records when it sees or senses motion and you set it to alarm it records when an alarm triggers right so you can set the day you want a particular motion particular um, schedule to to apply right so you can come to this settings button right, right here click on it and you can set to say okay um, on sundays between this period to this period record motion right between this period to this period so here is a time i say 12 you can say 3 to 12 you understand so you set this and decide what you want to be um how you how you want your schedule to be recorded right or to be so let's cancel but for my case i just want to say okay um on sunday let me say record motion right and say okay to see what happens sorry i want to remove general so record only motion so every sunday is only when it sees sees motion that will record right then you can also say uh, copy to let's say copy to all camera right so say okay so this means if you come to camera two it's going to be just like camera one you come to channel three same thing right so that's what you do here so the same thing you do here applies to snapshots you can say okay on sunday record on the motion so take a snapshot of motion right so let's just leave it as general so that's for schedule right now you come to disk manager here you can manage your disk that's your hard hard drive or your hard disk right so this is my hard disk i can decide to account format the hard disk or whatever so this is where you manage your hard disk you can see what happens you can format your hard disk majorly that's what you want to do here so you come to record setting now you in this record setting this is where you can set 
um, your mainstream, your substream, and your snapshots to either um, record automatically or record manual, or you just put it off. Your mainstream is your footage that the, 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 the camera is getting right. So you want to say record, set it to automatic. Uh, your substream, you want to also set it to automatic. Um, if you want snapshots, you say snapshot for all cameras, right? And you, that's basically what you do here, right? So your disk check, if you go to disk, disk check, you can do two things too. You can manually check your disk or you check your disk report. So just check report, say quick check. So if we say, let's check, manual check the disk, we will select key area detect, right? Or a global check. So if we say, let's select global check, we want to select the disk. If you have multiple disk in your system, it will show cabinet one and cabinet two. So let's say cabinet one, we want to click on start check. So it's telling you green means okay, red means bad, and yellow means block. So let's check. This check my cost, frame drop, blah, blah, blah. We say okay. And it starts checking the disk. It's a global check. So it's, it's going to be slow, you see? It's moving, right? So we can stop check and let me just check key error. So it's fast and let me see check. So this is what happens, right? This is telling me that my disk is okay. So next is record estimates. So here in record estimate, you want to set each of your channel, how you want your it to record, right? So you may want to say, okay, channel one, I want my resolution to be less, to be nine, whatever, um, to be 704 by this, or I want to set my frame rate to be 25 or less. I want to set my bit rate to be 512. I want to set my record time to 24. So, and then you can apply. And, or you copy to, say, all oh, camera is how you want it to be, right? You say, okay. So, you can also do this. You can do this to all camera or just do it to one camera and copy it to other camera. You can um, do it by time or by space, right? And you can set the time, the total space to tell you, right? And also do FTP, which means file transfer protocol. You can transfer footage. You want to enable it, do it by using secure, this is recommended secure file transfer protocol. You want to set your server address if you have then you your username your password storage parts then the file size and all of that and uh, you can set your channel that you want to transfer then also you can then click ok and that is apply and also say tests well, you need to be connected to the internet to do this, right? You can click on apply. So thank you. This how you can set your storage. This is a full storage um, video explained. So thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Um, share my videos and make comments. And also tell a uh, comment on any video you want me to make and I'll do my best to to work on them thank you